dark rain. A morning of dark rain, four wild turkeys walk stiff-legged at the edge of the leafless woods, picking at the wet ground. This is early, before bitter coffee starts to flood my veins, sluicing into the flesh of my arms and belly. This is before bitterness tries to take the day, before my mother falls apart shouting, I don't know what to do, before my grown children precisely point out my failings. And before all that, I sat in the one room school in the country and identified myself as an eight year old, shameful and amazed at what I was doing there, wearing a faded cotton dress with gray and purple roses on it and hand me down brown shoes. I was about to be given a double promotion because I could read what they gave me. Although I didn't know who Pearl Buck might be or why the Chinese woman squatted in the field to give birth or what this had to do with me. Don't take me literally, I learned to say in high school and kept saying it all along. Sometimes they wouldn't take me at all. I suppose it was too much trouble. For a while, I saw what death showed me and said what it told me to say. It had to happen. I couldn't stop it. Everywhere I looked, a hand had carved a sharp stony outline around a tree, a flower, the living blossoms traced in hard lines, the intricate cold shapes like the screens of the Taj Mahal, love turned to marble. For a while, everything was sharp and cold, barbed against touch. Death had soaked into the landscape, dried and hardened it with dark blood. It had finally taught me a lesson. I couldn't go on like I was. I couldn't go on thinking I was the only one, that the others were here for my presence. And my mind reeled and fell on its knees, my mind I had been so proud of. To my reader, there's a passage through the night where someone awards me, hangs the tassel of distress off to the side and replaces it with a badge indicating that I did one thing right by continuing what I'd started when I didn't know it had begun and I was sure of no reward. Blessings were not forthcoming, daily distress. The path is aerial seen from above. I startle myself and feel I have no choice but to proceed by inches. I pull down the magic curtain, uncurb the car, get in and drive, coaxing the pattern to relief. And you have been with me through the long and hateful night, although you are only a shadow. You have stayed behind my shoulder and I've sheltered you there, made a place for you in my mind. In loneliness, in rain, in the loss of breath, you have been with me and I have not failed you because I continued to speak when you begged me not to inquire further. And I spoke to your fears in a voice of grief saying, yes, they are gone and will not return, but you are still breathing. And I sang you a song that came through a trail of nerves down the generations through all we have read together and all we have remembered. Remember the words and I'll remember you.